What's up, everybody? Welcome back. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the NBA season here on YouTube.com slash Sean and Source Rex. Uh, my name is Sean, and I think I turned the vibration off on uh, on this controller. Uh, we are coming off a heartbreaking, frustrating loss to the Rockets. 11-9 to failed that game. F uh, fell there in the, the waning seconds of it. This game is rearing its ugly head with a problem that I had uh, in the previous iteration of this game as well. And it's happened in the last couple of games. Uh, the game, for some reason, starts before all of its animations and cinematics and stuff are done. Cost me a few seconds trying to get the foul at the end of this game. It actually caused a wide open look in, I believe, the Miami game. Um, uh, yeah, the Miami game where it, I just, I didn't know what was happening. It's just like locked in on the bench and it like doesn't register that it needs to not show that because I need to play the game. Um, real frustrating game. I, that game, I need to just wash off, forget it even happened, take the loss, whatever, move on to Chicago. Cause that's where we are today. Taking on the bulls. The bulls are 14 and 18. Uh, and I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it was 14 to six was the last time we saw them. And I guess the, the only time we saw them. So there you go. 14, six. We'll see them a couple of times over the next three games. Maybe we can, uh, get a little revenge here. I had a lot of confidence going into that Rockets game. Didn't obviously work in my favor. And that is, uh, that is very frustrating. I have very first, very frustrating, but that's okay. We'll give it a whirl today and we'll see what happens every day, 4 p.m. Pacific time right here. YouTube.com slash on You can catch a new installment of the 62nd season. So be sure to scroll down and subscribe, ring that bell. So you're notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you at the tip. Let's uh, see if we can get a, get a W here. Illuminating the landscape, Sears Tower and the rest of the Chicago skyline as night falls upon us. Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to our coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. With Doris Burke, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. And with us tonight, an icon on the court, in the studio, and here at the broadcast table. How about that for an introduction, Candace Parker? <laughs> Thank you. I hope I live up to this intro, guys. And now the Indiana Pacers starters. Sabonis and Turner work together inside. Brogdon and Lavert make up the backcourt. And it's Ingles in at the three, the small forward. And for Chicago, Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. Nikola Vucevic is out there with Patrick Williams. And it's DeRozan in at the three slot. Okay. See what we can do here. And the Bulls start not the win the tip. Okay, great. Excellent. Not a, not a good start. Ball against Brogdon. Outside Levine. Ball outside. Fires from deep. The Pacers pull it in. No. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I actually had, if I was a little more uh, prepared, it was actually a pretty good lane there to try and get. That wasn't a great. That wasn't great. That was. Okay. Good news is I turned the vibration off. So there's that. There we go. Get some points here. Oops. 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 That was my fault. I I switched at the wrong time. Should have just stuck with Brogdon. At the line for the Bulls, Zach Levine. Sabonis might have actually gotten a block had I not intervened. Oh, I can't can't do anything here. I was like I automatically started wanting to hit L and R. Second free throw, no good. You know, one of the things that Zach Levine has worked so hard on is the ability to get to the free throw line. This guy has stated he wants to be one of the best to ever do it. Well, a great score. Not a great shot. And that 
Yeah. A closely contested game so far. Bulls out in front, up by two. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. So we'll get the ball to start here in the uh, second quarter. Look to tie it. That's some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen here from the Bulls tonight? The aggressiveness on defense has been infectious. Everyone's come to the party. I love it. Well, I think they combine great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. Well, Candace, so happy you could be with us tonight. Thanks, as always, for your insights. Thanks so much, Ryan. Wow. Great. I'm looking forward to the next one. On the court for the Pacers, second quarter underway. Royce O'Neal is out there with Miles Turner. Then there's Jeremy Lamb. Tried to split the defenders. And it's Dorte in at the two guards. What is happening? Why are people fouling me so much? What is going on? First team foul. Coming onto the floor for Here's McConnell. Hey, Turner, why are you? Right side Lamb. Out to the right wing. That was all the way across the court. Bad shot. Wow, okay, all right, there we go. Duarte has a good uh, good flow there. Good feel. Look at that, a lead. The oh-so-rare lead. Just funnel it down inside to Turner. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of... There we go. That's, that's the best read I've had probably all season long. ...is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with... There we go. That's a fantastic second quarter. Five nothing run. Block at the end. Let's go. Enjoy halftime. The two K Sports halftime show. the Pacers the first quarter was pretty even and in that period the most they trailed by was three and they turned it on during that second quarter turning that deficit into a lead playing with confidence Kenny your thoughts about the Pacers and how they're playing I like what they've done on the glass boxing out reacting quickly playing with an aggressive attitude they set a physical tone but now everyone gets a chance to recalibrate we'll see if this rebounding dominance can extend into the second half Looking at Chicago, Shaq, your thoughts. And their defense has been an absolute disaster, offering little to no resistance, allowing the other team to walk all over them. They need to show way more fight in the second half or they're going to get trouble. Here we go. Here's Brogdon. Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. Patrick Williams out there with DeMar DeRozan. That's not who I wanted to go to, Down but low. sure. That's the group for Billy Donovan getting going here in the second half. There we go. There we go. Pretty ugly. Not, not, the, not the best uh, idea there. A little lucky, but that's okay. Sometimes you got to get a little... Friendly roll here or there. I am everything is a mess. Hello, help. Oh, and a fast break for the Pacers. Ingles, thank you for not like crashing at all towards the hoop. And the whistle blows. It's gonna be on Wow, okay, cool. We have seen so many fouls in this game. Chicago trailing here. Dang, that's uh that's too bad. Really wanted Ingles to crash towards the. Levine has every point for the Bulls. Ball. 
There we go. Off the glass. Let's go. Take advantage inside. Okay. All right. 11 to 7. Four point lead here with 60 seconds to go. Uh, it's the Zach Levine or no one show on the Chicago side. He has all seven of their points. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. You set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. Uh, cool. All my starters are on the bench. Ex excellent. Oh no, he's actually on the floor. Wow. Okay. Very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Ingles. I put him in a very bad position here. Sabonis. Come on. It's not who I wanted to throw the ball to. Oh my god. And here's White. Shoots from 12. He connects. And he's tied it up. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. It's such a piece of crap. Oh my god. You can feel the intensity in this arena. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Okay. Or no one move at all. Oh, thank God. Would have loved one of those a couple of games ago. Or, yeah, in the last game. Loved one of those. Oh, my goodness. That is where it's so frustrating. Is like, the shots that are made, there's like, why? And the shots that are missed is like, oh, all right, I guess. Malcolm Brogdon, I might get... So there were 7.1 seconds left here. 7.7. .7. Okay, so we're actually. Okay. This was his game all okay. Night. Oh I mean, my God. Oh, oh my God. That was a two. I thought I. But that's my bad. I thought it was a three. This is the worst. God. So I, I thought that was a three. I was controlling whoever was supposed to be guarding him. I got just, I got totally blocked up. He was wide open. <laughs> the blocks are so weird in this game. If you're wondering, if you're watching this and you're like, why is, why is this the most bizarre thing? I'm playing on the Xbox One. So I'm not playing on the series. I bought this before I had a series S. And I'm not going to pay another, like, $40 or whatever. What happened to the the feedback? Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to... Not going to uh, buy it again. Thank you, God. He ended up with a wide open look again. 16 13, your final here. I know the last game was frustrating, and I was very irritated with it. Still, I am very irritated. The last handful of games, um, I think we're 3 and 2 or 4 and 2 over the last six, five or six, something like that. Even that loss against the Bucks, as frustrating as that was, and the loss against Houston, frustrating as it was, it hasn't been the the typical problems that I've had, where it's like tight game, tight game, blow out all of a sudden. We've been in there, we've been in the we've been in the thick of it. 
having some opportunities here. Lost by two and lost by the the Bucks game. A little misleading that we lost by six. We did give up eight points in the final minute uh, and like five seconds, but I did go into overtime. So yeah, everything's everything's been pretty. It's it's been doable, and I just haven't been able to get it done in uh, all of the situations. But good win today. We're gonna see the Bulls the game after uh, this uh, after this next game against the Hornets. So we'll see if we can keep this momentum going. Thirteen and twenty one are the Indiana Pacers in the second season of the sixty second season, right here on youtubecom Rex. So stick around uh, every day, four p.m. Pacific time, right here. You can catch a brand new game of this um, playing the entire season. We are 34 games in, which means we have 60 some odd to go. That's a lot. No, it's not that much. 50, 40 something. I don't know math. I do know that we got a green W. So that's what uh, that's what matters. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Goodbye and go Pacers.